On today's show, I talk about loneliness in Vancouver high rises and where you can get the best deals on what floors. So it's no secret the supply of land in Vancouver is extremely limited. Uh, so while the developers are continue to continue to work and densify downtown Vancouver and with many new high rise buildings planned. Um, however, developers, city officials, and even firefighters are facing some very serious issues. But first, uh, something I want to talk about, and it's come to light, is called the phenomenon of urban loneliness. And this is becoming a more pressing issue, where surveys have actually found 43% of those who live in high-rises uh, don't know at least two of their neighbors' names. So developers are taking this very seriously. Uh, what they're actually doing is they're proposing these, these cool, uh, things called sky gardens, which are basically common areas like a green space on each floor uh, where neighbors go out, they enjoy some fresh air, they socialize with their neighbors. And you know, this is all to kind of get to know each other and get out of the so-called loneliness. But um, at the same time, they're also suggesting to make this plausible. They're suggesting get ring, we're getting rid of people's private patios. Um, so me personally, I live in a high rise here in downtown Vancouver. I can tell you in my building and most other buildings, people don't really use the community areas. Uh, people prefer the privacy, and I can tell uh, just by every time I, you know, you're in an elevator and nobody even says hello anymore. So it's just kind of the world that we're in now. Everyone's kind of buried in their phones. So I don't really see these communal areas as the solution. Uh, I think when you're talking about taking away people's private patios, when when someone has a 600 square foot unit on the 30th floor. With no patio, I think that's that's gonna make a lot of people feel trapped, stuffy, claustrophobic, especially in the claustrophobic, especially in the summer. Like that's gonna be unbearable. So um, another issue that these Vancouver high rises are facing is there's certain safety issues. Uh, developers in the city are facing cultural challenges, uh, where the developers are actually they've gone and they're renumbering towers, so they're taking away the number four, the number thirteen, to you know, to help out the Chinese buyers because number four means death. So they're playing into all these, um, you know, these cultural barriers, but it's actually becoming a safety issue with firefighters uh, not being able to properly number the floors. So you're taking, for example, uh, the new Burrard Tower, it's being marketed as a 60 tower high rise, but it actually only has 53 floors. So this is becoming very confusing. Thankfully, Vancouver has just recently implemented a new uh, law against uh, developers and they've actually now they're not permitting them anymore in any new builds to get rid of the number 4, 14, 24, 34 and 13 like all the numbers of the 4s and, and uh, 13 so they are now making them mandatory for new developers to include those so it makes it easier but that brings you to the case is now so now you're limiting 4s, 14s your new builds are going to have those and you might be able to find a deal on one of these floors because you're really cutting out, a, you're potentially cutting out a, you know, a decent size of potential buyers, uh, Asian buyers that are really superstitious that might not want to live in four or 14 or 24. Uh, people don't like the number 13. So, I mean, if you're okay with living on one of those floors, I see this as potentially, you know, a money saver. Because you know, less competition, less buyers, uh, it could mean some savings to the person that's willing to lay on those floors. So it's interesting to see how it plays out. But again, only time will tell. So um, look out for number four, 14, 24, 13, and you might just help find yourself a deal. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. See you next week.